Welcome to my life as an NPC. I am Corbin Scythe, and we are going to continue to play College Bound today. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. We're going to begin where we left off earlier, uh, where uh, Principal Miranda said that we basically have to uh, compete with Liu if uh, whether or not I should have the spot to Paris or not. Yeah, but as far as I know, we will fail this, so do not expect too much, but let's see uh, what ha how, where the story takes us. As you dwell on your thoughts of self-loathing, Liu appears out of nowhere and addresses you. Kurt, I'll be honest with you, I feel really sorry for you. How do I make a menacing voice? Please don't hold a grudge against me, against me. I'm just more talented and hardworking, so I simply deserve the scholarship more than you. Oh, fuck you very much. Also, if your parents donated huge sums of money to your university like mine do on a regular basis, maybe you'd be eating baguettes and crepes soon too. Okay, yeah, uh, they designed her to be a bitch, uh, to be uh, an ass, so she just does not deserve any um, leeway, leeway. Uh, okay, uh, but yeah, uh, but as I said, if your parents can make donations like this, then they should be able to send you off to France on their own. So screw you. Well, lot of fucking da, I got something you can't eat. Right in my pants, bitch. Oh. Really. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, we, okay, yeah. How unfair is this world? You have to find some way out of this, this you have to find some way out of this disappointing situation. Now I don't know who really deserves the world's biggest bitch award more, Miranda or Liu. I guess it's a tie. I should tell Summer about this nonsense right away. Maybe together we'll figure out something out. She's uh, sharp as a tack, even though she's a blonde. Ah! But seriously, maybe it's a better idea to break this news to her in person. You take out your phone, open your recent calls and click on Summer. Hey champ, I hope that you're calling me with good news. That you signed your papers and soon will be having a lovely time a couple of thousand miles from here. Say that everything went fine, lie, not to worry her and tell her the truth later. Say that things went south, truth, but you'll and tell more in person. Yeah, no, I, I don't lie, basically, so I just don't have time to waste on lies. So I'm always a, a truthful person, so I will tell her the truth right away. I would, don't want to worry you, but I didn't really get it, but it didn't really go as expected. What? Is it bad? Summer, I'd rather not talk about this over the phone. Can we meet later today? Sure, honey. Let's meet this evening at my place. Blanca is also Blanca is also coming for a visit. Blanca, as far as I know it, is usually the name of a pet and not a person. So no threesome action. Most likely just uh, going for a walk with her dog, perhaps. Oh, so we'll have a party then. <laughs> I wish. She just wants to come over for a minute to tell me about something. Okay, so it is a person. Okay, I understand. See you this evening then. Love you. Bye. I'm sure that we'll work this out. Jeez, we've been through much worse. Maybe I can come up with something that will persuade Miranda. Oh. Just as you were about to walk out of the hall, you hall you were in, a girl jumped out from around the corner. It's Amber, your workout partner who spends far more time in the gym than in the classroom. Okay, so she looks relatively young, young at least. Oh God! Who the fuck does she remind me of? Is it the Hulk? I don't know. Hey Kurt, <laughs> I almost didn't notice you. Thanks, just butch. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Tell me, what are your plans for Paris? Just don't get fat from all the cheese and baguettes. Damn, she got a ever got a dark voice, and that's going to be a major turn off for a lot of viewers. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that way I can keep this uh, for viewers under 18 or something. I don't know. But this is a damn dark voice. And well, I, I I'm. I just had to find some way to differentiate the different voices and she's workout and workout uh, bodybuilders tend to be quite deep voice that's why I'm going down here uh, oh damn and also she as I mentioned she may makes me think of the Hulk how do you know about how do you know about Paris oh boy it's just gossip it moves faster than light you know Great, so I can be sure that everyone knows about it by now. Yeah, she is pretty buff. Damn, those arms. She got them gains or, or something. It's so cool that you and Summer are going to spend the whole year in Paris. It's just like a honeymoon, but so much fucking longer and all. Expenses paid. No, eh, uh, but so much fucking longer and all expenses paid. Why are you not saying anything? It's a it's an exciting thing. How do you feel about it? Oh god, she's scary. I can't tell her the truth since truth now, since almost all of the school already knows. I'll have to make something up quick. Ah crap. I actually have to lie. Yeah, it's gonna be a great adventure. Is it me or are you in much better shape? Divert attention. I don't want to lie, as I said. So I guess I would just divert. Oh, you noticed. Yeah, I've been working out uh, so hard. Never skipping leg days or cardio. I guess it's finally starting to pay off. I think that each one of my muscles got bigger, stronger and more defined. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, you know that, that we see each other almost every day. So seeing any difference can be hard. I mean... You still look like you could bench 125 kilos. Kilos? Is this game not made in America? In the United States? Or do you bench press in kilos? Oh shut up. 125 piece of cake. It's obvious that I've improved my body. But there's one part of me that I'm particularly proud of. My ass. <laughs> My ass. Damn, did I go completely black in this? I, I don't know. I don't mean to be offensive, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you just recognize what the fuck you're doing. Who would have thought? Take a care of. Nick, take a look for yourself. Amber turns around and presents her sculptured bottom to you, like it's a physical possession, not an intimate part of her body. Well, yeah, I guess. These new squats that I've been doing work wonders. I had to buy a couple new pairs of pants. Yeah, it's really impressive. Just stop teasing me now. <laughs> I bet you'd want to have a little fun with it, right? <laughs> Not, not with this voice, I don't want to have any fun. It does look tempting, you have that right. I've seen her dress pretty scantily in the gym, but never less than that. And now we start to undress her, and of course she's gonna wear a thong. I bet a hundred bucks that she's been flexing naked in the mirror. Yeah? <laughs> I'm just kidding mate, remember that you're with Summer, and she's not bad either. I didn't say that, no, I didn't say that I want to have fun with it. Okay Kurt, I gotta go now, you're probably gonna see each other before you fly off to France, but if not, I hope you have a great time. And why haven't I noticed that the music is gone? Oh. 
don't get lazy there, don't skip any workouts or cardio, and I'm not talking about the ones you do with Summer in the bedroom, you sly dog. Oh, I mean, a girl like this would be amazing to uh, talk with, basically, but I am completely ruining her with my voice. Oh, I think it's highly possible that we're gonna see each other pretty often this year, if I don't figure out what to do with Miranda, that is. But that's a secret until then. Thanks, Amber, and I wish you lots of new gains. Ha ha ha! Much appreciated, pal! <laughs> Amber fist bumps you and goes on her way. Oh, jeez, he's a total jock. Okay, I have to go home before even more people appear out of nowhere and I'll have to lie to them about my student exchange. You go straight home, lock yourself in your room and decide to take a quick nap. Speaking of naps, uh, this is the third video I'm recording to in the past 24 hours. And uh, the second video I did was the first episode for this. But I never went to sleep after that. I just couldn't fall asleep. So I w was up for about 22 hours before I went to bed. I went to bed at 7 a.m. and slept for three, four hours. And now I'm back at it again. So I could need a quick nap myself. You gotta take a nap. After uh, today's overload of emotions, I'll wake up in the evening and go meet Summer. A couple of hours pass. Okay, it's time. I have to meet Summer and tell her about this bullshit. You stand up. Fortunately, Summer doesn't live far away from your place, so you go on foot. Okay, so this is Summer's place. I thought it would be my place, but this is luxurious. So it does not fit with what he was told, telling us about it being cheap and stuff. After entering her apartment, Summer, who is bright and cheery today, greets you. She does so by kissing you passionately, passionately on the lips. Mwah. Hi there, honey. Hi, I missed you. Even though we saw each other yesterday. Oh my god, I'm so excited about our exchange. I already feel like I'm there. Every day, I'll be greeted by the warm French breeze when I'm on my way to our new university. I think it may I, it may break her heart if I tell her. Blanca should already be here. I can't wait to tell her everything. And after she's gone, we'll have a lot of time for each other, if you know what I mean. Yeah, as long as you don't actually have a pregnancy fetish or whatever. Uh, or... Or actually, if the fetish in itself is not a problem, it's the forcing the guy to impregnate you. That's that's a problem, and I really hope that is not the case. It's never a good time for such bad news, but I guess it will only get worse if I delay it, so I should tell her right away. Summer, there's something I need to tell you. It's about me meeting with Miranda. Things didn't really go... Bzzz. The doorbell rings, interrupting you. It must be Blanca. I will open the door for her. Ah, oh, jeez. No, oh, jeez. I guess she's more interested in meeting with her, meeting her friend, than hearing what I have to say. She's just so ridiculously excited. That means that our bedtime story continues. Blanca, you look stunning today. You hear the? Ah, oh, crap! I need to invite invent a new female voice. <laughs> Not that Amber was a very female. Well, I guess it could be, but you know. You hear the girls chatting in the hallway and seconds later they join you in the kitchen. Ah, so that's Blanca. Hmm. Even though blank means white. Blanca. Uh, I have a special occasion today I can't stay very long. We haven't seen each other in forever, like two whole days. 
she a party girl? Am I making her a party? Now they're kissing each other. Then can someone greet each other with a kiss on the cheek? Okay, that does not look like it's on the cheek, but uh, if they say it's on the cheek, yeah, sure. You already smell like a French girl. <laughs> oh. Okay, a party girl does not do that. Uh. Kurt, how are you doing? Come here! Blanca leans forward and you kiss each other on cheek. It is her standard way of greeting people. Yeah, it's... But yeah. Mm. Hi there, nice to see you, Blanca. You're really looking good today. Summer was right. Oh, oh thank you. Both of you are really sweet. Can you finally tell us what this special occasion is? I'm dying to know already. Sure, that's why I came to visit. I have a date today with that older guy I told you about, Summer. Okay, how old? Yeah, I remember. The guy with the nice car, right? Okay, so older. Yeah, last time we went out, I, I was very impressed by his car. I don't know the brand, but, I, but it was real fancy. Fancy. And it was so fast, but really quiet. He said it ran on batteries or something. Yeah, he had a electric car or a Tesla. Mm. Women and machines. It's called an EV Blanca, an electric vehicle. I'm guessing I'm. I guess I'm a woman. Woman, since I don't know what an EV stands for. Electric vehicle, I guess though. This time I want to make a good impression on him too, so I bought this dress. <clears throat> the lady in the store told me I look like a fashion model wearing it. It's not bad, honestly. But it's... Uh... But I tell you the rest in private, you know, so this male doesn't snitch on me or something. So this male doesn't snitch on me, okay. Sure, that's the first thing I do, or... Blanca, stop playing. Mm -hmm. I don't understand these answers though. Uh... <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off, you're such a card. You know that I was joking, but I'd, I'd probably bore you to death with my shopping stories. Yes, thanks for sparing me the gory shopping details. Generic music popular with females aged 16 to 23 playing. <laughs> That's good. Generic Generic music popular with females aged 16 to 23 playing. Could be something by Beyonce, I guess. I don't know if it could, would be something by Beyonce. I don't know. I just read that name earlier today, so that's why that popped into my head. It's my phone. Who's that? Who's that? Why? It's my phone. Who's that? Why don't they just text me? Hypocrite alert. Code red. Well, she's red. And you're white. It's about my blood test. I had to pick it up. Excuse me, guys. Blood test? Do I need to do that for Paris too? This is the first I've heard of it. Hello. Yes, Summer speaking. What do you mean? Oh, no, I didn't. Summer puts her hand over the mic and whispers to you, I'll be right back. This might take a while. Summer leaves so she can continue her phone call in, her phone call in private. Black looks uh, at you expectantly. Oh, new come to see again. So, Kurt, we're all alone now. Oh, is she a fiery redhead? Summer told me about your scholarship. That is amazing. I seriously look up to both of you. It's not that easy to ace nearly all your exams. You're smart, but you don't look like a nerd at all, which is the best of both worlds, I guess. Damn, it's getting kind of loud here. And also, it's so romantic that you chose Paris. I bet that it will be a grand fuckfest for you in summer. Jesus Christ, Blanca, is there only one thing on your mind? Oh. She's that kind of girl. Well, all girls in this story so far have been that kind of girl, but still. And all the guys too. 
one guy. Sorry, I had to say it, but I'm sure it will come true. I better not tell her about Miranda fucking me over, so I'll have to improvise, man. This just sucks. Say that you're waiting for the right moment. You bet every night is gonna be the night of your life. Uh, no. <sighs> no. I am not a braggart. Bra braggart? Is that word? I, I don't brag like that. That's that's gross behavior. You very well know that Summer and I are waiting for the right moment. And sure, maybe Paris will be it. I don't understand people who wait for so long to do it. It's a natural thing to do after all. And that is correct. That is actually the main reason why I want to play these games and post it on YouTube. Because I don't feel like uh, society in general take uh, this responsibility uh, upon themselves. So I'm not a sex educator in any sense. I have very little knowledge, uh, but we need to normalize sex and sexual behavior. That's why I want to play these games and put them online. Not because, oh, it's a sex game and I'm going to be fucking horny. Some of the games are obviously for sexual release and shit like that. Or, uh, you know. But I want to normalize behavior because uh, there's a shitload of people out there who doesn't understand how sex works and who go through half their lives being virgins and hate themselves for it and shit like that. We just need to normalize it. Not everyone needs to have sex with everything and everyone they meet, but it should not be a problem to talk about it. That's why I want to make these videos. Actually, when I started up YouTube, uh, become becoming a YouTuber, I was actually thinking of making a, a adult channel uh, where we where we will be able to talk about these things. So yeah, I don't understand people who wait for so long to do it. It's a natural thing to do after all. Yes, but it doesn't mean that you all have to do it uh, because that's also a problem. Not only those who never do it and feel bad for that, but those who feel pressured into doing it and feel bad for that. I mean, I've been in both situations. It fucking sucks. But it's your choice and I'm not judging it. But if it were me, take good care of Kurt. And I'm not talking exclusively about the sex. She's my closest friend and truly deserves the, deserves the best you can give her. Misspell on the? You don't have to tell me that, Blanca. I feel the same way. Yeah, it was unnecessary. Change the topic. How do you think about? How do you think I look in this dress? Will it impress my date? It will impress anyone. I haven't seen all of it. You have to turn around. Ooh. Bit saucy. That's actually a good answer. Kind of flirtatious. You'll do it with your personality if the dress doesn't work out. Uh, no. The first one, because if a if you have a friend that is like this, um, and I have failed at this, and they uh, bring uh, attention to their clothes or their looks in general, you need to make them... You don't need to. But my impression of when I failed was that I was supposed to encourage her to show more of herself. So I haven't seen all of it. You have to turn around is a great answer. Good idea. It's where most of the action happens, for goodness sake. Blanca, without even thinking this through, turns herself around and show her bubble bob wrapped tightly in, in her shiny dress. It makes my Buddha look even bigger. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make a good impression on this guy and anyone else around. And if the dress isn't enough to get, and if the dress isn't enough to get his attention, Alex and then lift it up a bit. Oh, yeah. She grabs the bottom of her dress and lifts it up, exposing her ass in black lingerie. Okay. So. Fuck. Why is she showing me her almost bare ass? She knows that I'm with Summer. She's in the other room and can be come back at any second. 
I didn't expect to see your almost naked butt today. Shit, you're right, I shouldn't have done that. You are my bestest boyfriend, I wouldn't want you to have lewd thoughts or anything. And that is why we only look at her body without the head. Hmm. Geez, I'm too much of a slut sometimes. I'm working on it. That's fine. Nothing bad happened. It was just a little inappropriate. Maybe it's because of that booze I had an hour ago. <laughs> Fucking drunkard. Drunkard? Braggage? I don't know. Can we not say anything about it, Summer? It would make things weird. I'm not thinking straight. It's booze mixed with pre-date stress. Fine. That'll be our little secret. Also, it might be a good idea not to do the same thing in public when you're on this date. Oh, stop it. What time is it? You glance at your phone. Almost 9pm. What time are you supposed to meet him? Fuck! 15 minutes ago. I have to go. I don't want to keep him waiting. Tell someone I'll call him later. Come here, give me a kiss. Uh, take good care and uh, uh, good luck on your day. Mwah. Blanca rushes out uh, of Summer's apartment, almost tripping on the stairs. Seconds later, Summer ends her call and rejoins you. Such a relief, my test results are fine. I was uh, feeling fatigued lately, but apparently it's because I don't sleep enough. Oh, so this wasn't a Paris thing? Great news. But when did you tell me this earlier? I didn't want to worry you. By the way, where is the crazy redhead? Crazy redheads are awesome though. You won't be surprised, but it turns out she's 15 minutes late and she rushed out of here. She wanted me to tell you that she'll call you later. Poor guy. I wonder if he's still waiting for her. Did she tell you anything interesting? I'll tell you one thing here. On my absolute first ever date, I was 16 years old. And the only reason I was on a date with this girl was because she was the first girl ever to in a somewhat adult age. Uh, I, I'm not counting um, any previous relationship because I was a kid then, or a re actually actual kid. But uh, when I was 16 years old um, and we had this spot in uh, uh, Westeros where we were supposed to meet, it was the typical uh, meet-up spot. It's in the smack middle of the city and uh, but this building has two entrances and I have zero uh, social interaction with people in general. So we, she said, let's meet at building A and we'll be on a date uh, from then. I went to the wrong entrance and waited there. Uh, and uh, later that evening, she told me that she waited for me for 15 minutes before she left. Here's the thing though, I having no concept of how anything in the world works, waited for an hour thinking that she stood me up. Uh, well, anyway. Well, she showed me something interesting for sure, but that's our little secret. Not really, she just told me to take care of you while we're in Paris. Speaking of which, Miranda did something really unexpected. Here it comes. Oh, she's always like that, no surprises. I'm not really in the mood to hear about that wicked old woman. Take a seat on the couch, I want to propose something we can do now, since the Blanca left and we're all alone. Tired of standing, you didn't need Summer to tell you twice. You slump down onto the couch. Let's hear what she has to say before I roll out the not so good news. I'm all here, Sonny. I don't know where to start. It was a hell of a year for us, because uh, we cut out all of the fun and social life just to get this scholarship, and now it's all behind us. I figured. She gets up and continues her speech, looking you in the eyes. We're adults and we have our needs. I'm talking about sex, of course. What? She only wanted to do this when the time was right, meaning when we're in Paris, right? Why is she changing her mind? And it stays the same. Our first time should be special. Bummer. I got my hopes up for nothing. But what is she talking about? With that said, you're a man and you soon don't want to stop at kissing and hugging. It's something that Blanca has impressed, has impressed upon me. 
Are you gonna do a striptease? Thank you, Blanca. I don't know where this is going, but I have a feeling that I will enjoy it. Yeah, I, this face does not say I will enjoy it, but this is my confused face, not my deterred face. Ah! Some <laughs> Summer suddenly crouches. What is she planning to do next? What are you getting at, Summer? I want to show you at least a small fraction of what we will be doing in our French bed. I think you know what comes next. I, I can guess. I've always wondered what it would feel like. I want to give you a blowjob, honey. honey, honey, honey to make you feel really good. We can treat it as a reward for your work, for our work. Your reward is obvious, and for me, the fact that I give you pleasure will be more than enough. Is she a great gal? Wow, I didn't expect this. I think it's probably obvious that I'm not going to say no. <laughs> okay, it's official. I won't tell Summer about Miranda's bullshit. I don't want to worry her, especially if she's in such a good mood that she's going. things are going sexual. I will deal with Miranda later. I'll be worried if you did. <laughs> I would suspect you of a change your sexual orientation. That's not in the plans, funny girl. Okay, so where do we start? I've never done it before. You know how to st how strict my parents are. are you are religious. Uh, do you have a religious upbringing or are you just strict parents? Really? You can sit on the couch and st and I'll stand. Wait, really? You can sit on the couch and I'll stand. That would be more comfortable for you than kneeling on this cold floor. This is what I saw a lady do in a video. <laughs> but your idea sounds better. She's been doing research. Nice. That is honestly far more than I did in my in one my previous relationships. Uh, yeah. You switch positions with Summer. She sits on the couch and you stand in front of her. I feel a bit stressed out. What if I don't make a finish? It's your first time doing it, so it's normal to feel some pressure. But honey, I'm sure you'll do great. Don't worry. Just let nature take its course So once I'm in your mouth. Oh, sounds so bad. Oh, and watch out for the teeth. <laughs> okay, I trust you. And I you. I'm ready now. Let's get started. Don't night. Uh, she's trying to unzip my fly while looking at me in the eyes. It's cute that her moves are so shy and uncertain. She'll get more confident over time. Hopefully, my cock size won't intimidate her as I'm already rock hard. I can feel it throbbing. Are you really gonna pretend that you are have a massive horse dog? <laughs> I read somewhere that if a girl wants to show a guy her true feelings, she should swallow every last drop. That sounds like some hentai shit. And I mean, hentai is good and all, but hentai is crap as well. I guess she's really in love then. Yeah, she wants every piece of you. I also enjoy that. Making you feel good is so fulfilling. We should do it again. That would be awesome. I'll return a favor then and go down on you if you'd like. I'm open to new experiences, especially with you, honey. Speaking of new experiences, Summer gets up from the couch and you continue the conversation. I know that sometimes you go to the gym with that buff girl. Yeah, I go to... I meet Amber sometimes. Yeah, Amber. We don't really work out together that often since we have different sets of exercises. I often spot her during lifting though. I have no problem with that. Nice. What I want to say is she won't be with us in Paris, so you may need someone else to work out with. Oh? Are you volunteering? That's really nice of you, but we've never worked out before. Worked out together? Yes, because the gym intimidates me. All of those scary looking dudes staring at me as if I was some sort of alien. In, in the gym, platinum blonde hair and a sexy body will get you more attention than if you actually were an alien. Yeah. 
Would you seriously be willing to work out with me? That would be awesome. Yes, I guess that's uh, what good girlfriends do. Try to share their boyfriend's passions. And also that, why is the guy in these games always a jock? I mean... I just started working out and I'm a 30. 30. Mm. It's not a passion, of course. You are more than just a good girlfriend, Summer. We can work something out if you're not a fan of the crowds in the gym. There's barely anyone around the, there around at 10 a.m. How about tomorrow morning? I can show you how it's done. That works. I have no classes tomorrow, so any time suits me. I even got myself a new gym outfit. I bet you'll like it. Great. So it's a date. Thanks again uh, for today. I wasn't expecting this. It was very special. I'm on cloud nine. I had a lot of fun too. Take care, honey. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 at the gym. You kiss Summer and go home. It, it was late, so you go straight to bed. Your mind racing, it's hard to fall asleep. You can't stop thinking about the talk you are going to have with Miranda tomorrow. Jeez, I wonder what this bitch will come up with tomorrow. Should I prepare myself in some way? I don't know if there's any need. I had have no clue of what's what she has in mind. Mm. A friend of mine once saved his ass when he recorded a talk he had with the police. Oh, yeah. I've done that against a, uh, my boss. Miranda is not the police though, she is worse, way worse, and wrinkled as fuck. Yeah. Linda has a hidden camera she uses to watch our driveway, and that has a built in recorder, record function. Or you just use your phone. Maybe you're not allowed to use that uh, on, uh, in the United States. What am I thinking? This is a dumb idea. Maybe I should tell someone about my problem. I should run it past Linda and see what she thinks. And we fall asleep. You doze off with a sneak plan in mind to record your meeting with Miranda. Bzzz, bzzz. Your alarm rings and you jerk awake. And this is where we will cut off for today. I'm going to try and make these videos a bit shorter because the first video was over an hour long because I had no idea how this was going to come out. But I will try and make these videos a bit shorter, 20-30 minutes perhaps. I hope that's enjoyable for you. So, still haven't gotten pretty much anywhere in this game so far. So I will continue to play this and we'll see where it ends up. So, until next time, remember that even if you're not the main character, it does not mean you're not important.